Right. Just left the end. Didn't go right to the very end, but I chatted to a few people for a minute. And uh, I think they'll be coming, following me up here in a minute. Just on the north side of uh, Sand Point now. Just following this little path along. I, I was going to have a little break there, but I, I, I was don't, I was accompanied, joined by a few people for a chat, so it's always handy to. a little conversation I do I'm very sociable really I know I do a lot on my own but um, it's not because I'm antisocial I just like going out on my own it doesn't bother me I don't have to be with people I can do either way I'd be a team player if necessary I can be a sheep which means I, I'll let someone else do all the planning and organizing Oh yeah, yeah. So, like I said, I don't do this that often, this route. But today was the day to do it. Um, I've got no idea if there's other cows out. If there are cows out, I mean. I've got no idea. Now, you couldn't have done this a couple weeks ago this bit and it might still be boggy further along because of the extreme wet weather we've had it's not so bad here but when we get up a bit it could be very boggy when we get further up I'll just see if I'm being followed yet no not yet we're all right you know, it's just that, because I'm a solo walker, so... Now, my breathing isn't too bad today. Um, I did, um... I think I had two puffs on the bus, just to make sure. Um... But I'm videoing this with little Sony. and taking photos with the Kodak which is quite good at taking photos look at that expanse of sea lovely sky though look blue with puffy clouds <laughs> everyone's happy today it's, you know everyone you meet and there's so many cow paths cow slips out I can't get over how many cow slips there are I don't know if I've ever noticed so many before they're everywhere they're getting a bit like daisies. I'm wondering whether they've been planted, you know, because I think they were a sort of at risk plant. They're not at the moment. They might have given them some extra protection or something. Because see, look at that one mixing in well with the bluebells. See how it's mixing in well?
I did have something in my hair a minute ago. That's the bit I climb down there. I, I climb down there sometimes and get on the beach. So I'm just videoing a bit of this walk everyone. Because I've got two spare batteries for Sony, I'm not worrying too much. I forgot I had those. Look at all the blue in the hedge. Isn't it gorgeous? Ah, oh, this is spring for you. Uh, I said farewell to April last week when I was in the wood. I said farewell to April. It left us in a very grey day. The end of April was very, very grey. Was it? Yeah. Very, very grey. Oh, I can't get up. <sighs> Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? And you've got the, the, the wet on the leaves here. It's just so gorgeous. It reminds me of childhood. Cow, cow slip so. They remind me of my childhood and my mum. As a very, very small child, I can remember the, the, the very rare walks my mother ever did. We were taken to the fields. And uh, the fields were covered in cowslips. Look at that as a nest. Now what sort of nest you reckon that is in there? Loads of caterpillars emerging, but I wonder what that is. Spooky, in it? I'll take a picture. Not sure what it could be a butterfly. So, what puts and onwards we go? My lungs are only just starting to ache a bit, actually, for some reason. I deliberately haven't had nothing to eat. I haven't had my cheese or nothing yet. And I put my camera away before we left Weston. Did you? Yeah. Before we left Weston, I put my camera away. I'm going to turn off for a minute, just for a little bit. Right then, right over there, at the end of my finger, I've pointed out on other videos in the past, is what's called Sugar Loaf Mountain. Now, I can't actually home in for you because there's no viewfinder, but over there there's a hump. Not quite sure I'm getting the sky or the ground, but the Sugar Loaf Mountain is over there somewhere. I tried to get it on a photograph of it. Yeah, that's where all the drug dealers come probably out there. Do you reckon? Mm, wouldn't be surprised. I'd recognise that bloke. He had bits of orange on him. He had a black cap. Dark shorts and a top. I'm going to take the picture on. Over there we've got um, 
Cardiff. That's where the Millennium, not is it Millennium Dome? Oh, well, well, some sort of dome anyway. Some sort of dome. I'm carrying on videoing because I have got two more batteries. And I have taken pictures of this place thousands of times. But every time I come, I, I'm in awe of the wonder. The wonder of it. Are you? Yeah. Every time I come, I'm in awe of the wonder. I'm hoping to sit down and have my picnic in peace somewhere eventually. <sighs> this is not the place to sit. Not that you go off. Find a stone somewhere to sit on. When you stop, actually, it's quite nippy. This is going to be a bigger walk of mine. Uh, where I'm really encompassing the whole of the sand point. Sam Bay, St. Thomas Point, Middle Hope. The only thing that, that might cut it short now is if I see a big herd of cows over at Middle Hope. Then I think, oh, I'll leave it. <laughs> because I'm not doing the bridal path today. Just in case there are cows. So this is quite a, a big walk I'm doing. To tell the truth, is it? Yeah. Well, it ain't that big. It's just I don't normally do all of it. I either do one half or the other. But because I'm making the most of this day, and I'm getting the bus back, there's lots of buses. I mean, I might just change my mind when I get round the corner, because I do the other end quite a lot. I might say to myself, Oh, that's enough. But I, it's easy for me to actually back out of something these days. I will actually say, oh, yeah, let's forget about that bit. <laughs> the sight of a cow would do it. Look at that view, though. Look at that view. Over to Clevedon. I never get fed up with this place, mind, where I am. This place... I don't know about saved, but it definitely helped heal me when I first started to come here. And it was always very quiet. You get more people out here now, but it was it's always been a very peaceful place. I mean, this is a Saturday now. The sun's out. You expect to see more people. But now what you've got is what happens because the weather is so temperamental. You have to take the opportunity immediately so you just drop everything and get out <laughs> washing up the lot leave it i got to do a little bit of shopping on the way home i don't know if there'll be a daily mail available <laughs> i normally nip out and get me daily mail but um, i haven't bothered today bother today
I'm hungry as well. But the fact that I'm not eating has probably saved me. I mean, you could go down there for a picnic, but it stinks, and I bet you'd be a lot of beach flies down there. And they come off the seaweed and that. I, like I said, I don't know whether I'm going to do that bit, because the thing is, I do that bit a lot. So I think it's quite likely I won't do it. I never thought of it until then. I thought, hey, you don't have to do that bit. You're always doing that bit. Why don't you stop at Scallop Bay? You don't have to do the whole lot. You only did that bit last week. I'd be interested to know if there's any cows out there. Would you? Yeah. Here we got all the volcanic rock and stuff around here, see? I bet Scallop Bay will be busy, do you? Yeah, to find somewhere to sit quiet, it's not easy. The video I did when I went over to Robero the other day, I've done a much better video than that. I know it was time and place, but I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to bother putting it on YouTube, that one. Um, it was still a grey day. So that's going to be one on the back burner that might get released one day. Right over there in the distance is the suspension bridges across the River Severn. This is the River Severn, Bristol Channel, and over there somewhere is the suspension bridges, which I can see easily with the naked eye. Now Sugarloaf Mountain, I can see easily with the naked eye over there, but I can't focus it with this camera. so. I just can't seem to find something to focus on to find out because the sea and everything looks the same. Might be able to see it when I reverse. It's over there though. I'll take another picture of it. there somewhere is it yeah somewhere oh. and the tide's coming in I don't think I'll bother going over there. I think this is plenty what I've done. So I've got to go shopping yet. I do want to sit somewhere though and have my picnic. Do you? Yeah, I do. Here we have the volcanic area down here. That's what I was always been told. Obviously, sea erosion has had its effect as well.
so peaceful. I might better get down on the beach around the corner there and sit somewhere, somewhere quiet. I'm looking out for a bloke now with some sort of orange on his jacket. Just in case he's a nutter. Because you do get them. Right, I want you to turn this one off now. Give it a break. Yeah, if I see a bloke staring at me and he looks like he's got binoculars or a camera, I'll we'll take a picture of him. He soon fuck off. Now I can see some sort of slime in the oily. See those two little birds there? Can't remember what you call them. But look at that mu that pollution down there. Better take a picture of it, Shell. Some sort of pollution. Oily looking. And over there. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Looks a oily, doesn't it? Right, turn off again for a minute.